but going up against a Franco, there will be times where they'll be forced to go for the engage instead. Otherwise, you're just waiting for the next hook to land, and you're giving Bhutan all the cards to play. Okay, but I've, I'm, I'm thinking about any other mid laner that is ca possible to be picked by the side of Bhutan. I still feel like Luigi is a good option, but aside of that, what I was thinking about Melissa that can create so much things here. So yeah, I was they thinking need a about high ground, I think, to aim Melissa. Oh, at Sicilian. The back line. So Sicilian will be a good uh, option because the bad face can. Uh, get Sicilian, uh, get move, more movement speed to uh, run away from the Esmeralda and wait for the mid to late game. I think Sicilian will be the answer to the team fight. It's a very good uh, solution, right? They have strong roaming, strong early game, three fighters, right? Fighters have an, an inherent advantage in the early game. They're tankier than most heroes and they have good base damage without any items. So they can actually use that leverage in the early game, get ahead, and allow Sicilian to farm rather freely, and as you mentioned in the late game, just be that decisive force to just seal out the deal for the side of Bhutan. So, it's a different approach, but I think it's still very much in characteristic for Bhutan. Yeah, so that is the draft coming for the fourth game of the day here. Who are you supporting for? Is it Valdez or Bhutan? Put it in the comment section because we will just jump into the Bali Fort. 14 World Esports Championship 2022 for the fourth game here for the final stage South Asia between Bangladesh versus Bhutan here. This is a match point for Bangladesh, but this is all still a possibility for Bhutan to try to claim their victory for this one. In the jungle though, you can see that the box here will have a clear advantage. This is what we talked about. The tempo that Bhutan can actually push onto Bangladesh is going to be very, very scary. We have a lot of ways to facilitate dives as well. And that will be the orange buff taken away from x Win. What a disaster. Yeah, level 3 versus level 1 here. So when the time comes, uh, like uh, when the Tartos is up, also, um, the x Win will be having a hard time because he already just level 2 or 2. But now he is H8. Oh, Iron Hook trying to disturb the X Win from his jungling pattern with long last bar. Trying to escape. Yeah. He's very low right here. He is able to secure the purple buff, but he'll be using that retribution. So when the turtle spawns, Bhutan has some options to play around with here. They can go for the pickoff first, or they can go for <laughs> this as a play afterwards almost directly. Mm -hmm. That's a nice Iron Hook attempt, but Bhutan still completely in control. Yeah, I mean, like, they are having a very good disturbance hero here by the presence coming from Franco because they are unable to play it aggressively uh, yet until this... Oh. Oh. Sadly, the Iron Hook did not, did not connect. Actually, there is no Purify, so yeah, they just survive and they go back that fast coming. But Masha versus Esmeralda, yeah, the XP laner will be like a very mirroring kind of situation. It's not going to be too much of attention that can be given to this both of the player. But in the mid lane, we are saying the Shield might be actually hitting over this Valentina. Remember, Valentina... Uh, having this IMU and the Sicilian's bat face is actually going to be the key here later on. Will they be able to try to steal it and make it uh, as the damage that can be given? But yeah, the other Google is taken on the side of Bhutan right now. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Trying to steal again. The orange buff is. He stole it. He yep. stole it. Wow. Stole it by one last sec. But now look at the top lane. I think uh, Paladis is trying to do the mirroring to aim the outer top turret, but they didn't succeed. Yeah. Right now, Bhutan is playing aggressively and they're yeah. having a lot of success in shutting down x Win in that jungle role. So they have an advantage for all the neutral objectives. I think they need to be a bit more uh, aggressive in going into the jungle of uh, Bangladesh though, because now they have the pressure in the side lanes as well, and they have the iron hook to make plays with. So I think aggression is the name of the game for Bhutan for sure. Yeah, I mean like that's the advantage for you having the tanky jungler, tanky tank hero as a jungler. I mean like you can dive in with the sustain that you have and actually giving so much things to the side of the opponent side. But the chain come back to battling as well. What will happen? One last sack facing two members from the side of Bangladesh. We are seeing that actually it's hard for memory able to get somebody else. But I am you is being used right there. But ooh, hoo, hoo, the damage that is given from the stripes is pretty huge. And along with the bloody heart and volley star moon, two members from Bhutan is done. Bangladesh is the one that taking the advantage. Bench. What a nice counter setup from Bangladesh because they got three hero, three point kills here from the, that last team fight, and now the Dove is he even didn't get the um, outer gold shield. Right, I think it's 
I don't know, it's a bit too greedy from Bhutan. They got the advantage, but it stuck around for yeah. the members of Bangladesh to rotate in to counter engage and get the exchange there. So I think they need to be a bit faster because, again, their main advantage here is not burst damage, it's speed. And as you can see here, that counter from the sort of person's to the regeneration of the Esmeralda is so, so good. Unfortunately, though, Wizard will be able to escape with his life. And Strife here gets taken to half HP, but Bhutan pressuring but not getting the amount of dominance they want to get. Mm -hmm. And right now we are seeing another movement that has been brought by Bhutan to play objectively, but Valentina and Outlast is there, but no, the objective is still on the hand of Bhutan, but right now we are seeing a new setup that has been brought by M Bangladesh, but the Sunwind Claw and also the Bad Impact able to get one member from Bangladesh down and pushing them back to the side of the turret. Bangladesh might want to just avoid fights here, but as I say that though, Bhutan needs to be very careful walking into these choke points because Bangladesh, they have the Melissa, they have the Empowered King coming in from x as well. A lot of EOE combos that they need to make sure they don't get caught up in. Otherwise, they win in damage for now and they win in speed and they need to be getting a lot more objectives as far as structures are concerned. Fatal Link though is being used and it doesn't seem like this will end well for the member of Bhutan. That's the Brody getting taken out. XCR out of the game. Yep, yep, yep. And right now, we are seeing that actually this uh, the movement that is from Wizard is playing objectively towards the turret, but with the backup that is being brought. And I feel like this Cecilian somehow, without the Infurage, actually doing really good and having a really good damage because the Clock of Destiny is done in the first five minutes going for the Light Vitrage. While in the top lane, we are seeing the turret actually going to be converted and Bangladesh just take it. I mean, like, it's supposed to be Bhutan, actually, by some of the draft that they are having to have more chance to get over the turret rather than Bangladesh in the early stage. And now XCR is gonna be hard to do the farming very well because the outer the top turret is already destroyed and it gives Bangladesh a chance to do the thing off yeah. from the jungle. Exactly, Bhutan here is the same problem from game number one. They have the speed, they have the pick up potential, but they are not getting the objectives. Of course, later on in the game, the Cecilion will still be able to do a lot more damage, so they have a bit more insurance in that department. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's why they are trying to move so hard right here to the side of Bangladesh right now. Uh, but Bhutan, I feel like they, they really need to play aggressively towards Bangladesh, just like what they did in the third game. But right now, we are seeing Hercules looking for chances to do the fatherling, but the chain connect at this time and trying to push back the players coming from Bhutan right now. And Bangladesh waiting for the perfect moment to play aggressively, Ooh. but the Sicilian is down in the hand of this wizard that is actually giving so much sense right now because we see that actually the turtle being taken on the side of Bangladesh and not only that because two members will be down definitely one last sack the jungler is down and Melissa able to get over the burst against you well wizard need to get back well the damage that is given by the turrets and also by the Brody is enough to take down wizard meanwhile the bottom lane but then Dove is trying to get aimed by four heroes, but he also five. Outer the bottom turret is already destroyed and Conceal is being popped up by a view. Defense is concealed by Bhutan and they're losing an objective, man. They lost the turtle. They traded even on the fight due to that great iron of hope flicker play from Rise, but it's just not enough. Without the control, without the vision game, it's gonna be very difficult for Bhutan to try and surprise Bangladesh with those iron of hooks. So Bangladesh. It's a bit of a similar situation here. Their only real concern is PIS on that Sicilian. Yeah, I mean, like, the Sicilian is just, like, growing so hard, so fast right now. What will happen? I'm not really sure. I mean, like, if you drag this game longer and longer, the Sicilian will be a huge monster. But the Chen connect. The Iron Hook didn't really had somebody right there. But they don't have enough time to do the battling. And also, the HP bar from this Hercules is only dropping by 60%. So it's only 40%. So I don't think they will try to set it up. They will try to re-engage first. They will try to go back and try to set up and try to have a proper time before they try to engage more to the side of Bhutan. But Iron will connect along with the bloody heart. Will they be able to finish this off? But Hercules will just Man, jump in. The battling only connect to one member, but not only the movement that is the follow up that is coming from Bangladesh is just so huge, taking this Brody down. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. Even the, all the tournament memories didn't have the damage because like the, he didn't get the stack. And now is the chance because the first Lord is gonna be uh, coming to the land of Dell. 
That's a great play from Fuyo or Hercules. Just going in aggressively, flickering with the Fatal Link, getting only one member, but that is the Gold Leaner. And right there with the advantage, they, without any hesitation, they go for the pick, they get Dando, and it's still a 5v4 Bhutan. Forced to back away and concede the Lord to Bangladesh. This is the same pattern oh, no. This is what they enjoy doing. Oh no, Bangladesh might have this advantage over and over again. Bhutan need to do something about it. I'm gonna like Axwin here, back with the Sky Garden helmet. It means that he is going full tank again. As a Julian that we saw in the three games in a row, haven't got a chance to win the game yet. So yeah, we will just see what will happen. But oh ho, Axwin need to have a proper setup. Whoa. What will happen right here? We are seeing the bloody hard focusing towards this Julian. Still very thank you to hold up all of the damage. But the Marsha almost getting down. Need to run away. When lost one last second. Tortoise poisons is being open. No one is being shut down yet. No one is being picked off by Bangladesh. Let Bhutan run so fast after they are giving so much damage. Um, it's gonna be a long game because Bhutan have Sicilian on the side. So Sicilian is a very good hero to uh, get the fancy from the minion because he is a high ground, have the high ground attributes too. So we gonna see like for the first floor, Red our battle is gonna get the destroyed. base start from Bhutan. Exactly, he just finished the lightning truncheon as well. So the wave clear is definitely there. Bhutan though, they cannot jump on that full tank Julian. It is not in their win conditions. They go for the Lord here and they will be able to clear it away. But at what cost? Masha already just running my full marathon towards the back line. That is a box here though. Not exactly the prior target. Battling. And on the three people with the with the car. The power chain as well, and that will be Bangladesh turning it around. They go for the big play towards Bhutan, and they seem to be having most of the advantage. Oh yep, my yep, god, one yep, really good double kill here on the head of this Melissa. What a really huge family that is being brought by Hercules. That is actually like a Hercules, the true Hercules here. Thanking <laughs> all of the damage, taking and bringing carrying, hugging three members from the side of Bhutan. It's literally Hercules because he can make three heroes on the air. Yeah, it <laughs> is. And look it at is. the items. Harashi, what do you think? Well, reading armor on the side of One Last Sec, mm. it's good enough to deal with the repeated DPS coming in from Bangladesh because there's a lot of repetitive magic damage. But overall, he is, you know, he's a bit too, uh, I don't know. He I mean, like, tanky, but he isn't exactly useful when it comes to those full dive yeah. situations. Because actually, it's not only the damage, the magical damage that is given by Bangladesh. Remember, this Melissa is very free. 5-0 at 3. You, I know the, 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 the damage that can be hauled up with that uh, armor, but I feel like they still need more to handle all of the damage. Antikiras, perhaps, or maybe Twilight Armor, just to prevent all of the physical damage that can be brought by Bangladesh side. And right now, it's 12 minutes, 5,000 leads on the side of Bangladesh, and 5 turrets, apparently. Bhutan, again, needs to be a bit more coordinated. We saw that Dendo, he was going in so deep alone, and that is exactly what forces his team to try and follow up on that play, and that is what gave Fuyo Hercules mm -hmm. to get the opportunity to come in with that flicker. So mm -hmm. Bhutan, they need to be very aware, because given the right circumstances, Bangladesh can still come out on top here. They have the gold, uh, gold inner advantage to get. Look, 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 at the last, last act, what oh. even doing? Uh, Puddling is getting Dendo, but at their behind, the, um, the one, the, the one last sec, yeah, he's trying to steal with one oh. last sec, oh. yeah, from the one last sec, it's still, uh, continue to be white, and Wizard trying to hold the bad place and the bad impact from the Sicilian, perfect, but they are getting runway because the, they have low HP right now. No, this is a very nice deal actually because they will give more time for this Sicilian to be more strong and with the dominance eyes on the side of this Sicilian want to have more mana but also reducing the attack speed from this Melissa as well. 13th to the 6th, the Lord is marching to the mid lane of the side of Bangladesh. Bhutan still have the moment, still have the chance to win this team with all of the movement that they have. They just need one last momentum on the side of Bhutan, but the battle link focusing towards this real monster kill for this Melissa. One last sec! We'll be done as well! Double kill here!
here. The Lord is jumping, going, marching to the side of the turrets. But the three members from Bhutanistan, not only that, it's a shutdown. And we are saying that actually this ESOS is not in the head of this Sicilian. Oh, did he fall to the Lord in that situation? He was backing away to try and clear the Lord, but he was a bit too... Uh... Too careless, gets taken out there. Very unfortunate, but Bangladesh, they're able to defend and even turn it around, getting the advantage over Bhutan, who was making the play with the Lord. That was really, really good. When you're afraid of the Iron Hook, engage on the Franco instead. It will no longer be an issue. And just like that, they were forced to rely on one last sec and Zendo to just run at them. And it's no issue at all for the counter engage to come from the rest of the team. Oh, yeah. oh. now, Arendo is connected to the Axe and Axe is using the Atan Sword to run away for four heroes. And Strive is trying to gap damage by using the Arcane Shield and the Shadow Strike. Yeah, but the team fight is still not happening because uh, both of the teams know, like, the team fight, if uh, they are rushing to make it happen, it's kind of a disaster <laughs> it for is. both of them. It right. is, it is. Both teams also going for their respective buffs. And that will be PIS with the Sicilian and the purple buff. The that is again the aggressive engage coming in from Bangladesh. That will be a falling star move before the, the fatal links as well as a combo. And Bangladesh, they're doing their best here. And you can see Dendog getting zoned away by the getaway of Melissa. And Bangladesh on the back foot because the Sicilian is still alive. Oh. That is the torn apart memory used by the SCR. And it's still even so far. Yeah, and they still go for more because we are saying actually perfect is here, here, trying to be focused by Strife. But the no hope Ooh, here, win coming with two combat. Oh. Suddenly, the killing spree on the side of this oh. Rony. And even the immortality is gone and also taking down three members from the side of Bangladesh. Bhutan, Bhutan, will they go for the Lord because this is their chance? The Melissa is still there, the Atlas is still there. Uh, but they will will they be able because they still have one last sack with the retribution to be focused towards this lord and Isas and also Hercules will be waiting patiently. Hercules revealing the position, but Rius is there. And look at that one, the damage that is given towards Rius is pretty huge. Melissa! Whoa! Almost get down here in bad impact! Need to run away as soon as possible. Buyo here, Hercules able to get one kill, but the Lord is still on his head of Bhutan. Again, this is a second Lord. This is 16 minutes Lord. It's a very strong Lord, but the perfect match just to run away here from this Atlas. Bangladesh, they have to again defend against a Lord and try and find the right team fight. They've been able to deny the pick of potential from Bhutan, but they can't deal with the DPS coming in from both the gold lane and the mid lane from the side of Bhutan because it's a great mix of physical and magical damage. So now, they need to weigh out their options. Do they go on the tank and not get picked off, or do they go on the back line to ensure that the DPS won't be an issue? Timing as well as positioning will be the key in the next team fight. Whoever comes out on top, I think, will have a very strong chance of ending the game right here, right now. Yeah, because they cannot ignore the Sicilian because the damage from Sicilian is very, very painful right now. And Lord is marching to the deep lane, even the Iron Horse is connected to the Axe Wave. But the Sandwich Cloud and oh. the Battle connected, only two one heroes. But only Starboard is trying to follow up. One last sec is using his mortality right now. Hercules is taken down, but Ryus is... Davis for the trade. Oh my god, they're still, still looking for more. The Lord is still there and we will be done in the last second. But we are saying that actually it's four versus four. What will happen next? The recall Ooh. is there. But the damage that is given by Stripple is pretty huge. Will they dash to the front? Flicker is out. And we are saying that actually the Sicilian is, is down in the head of Bangladesh. While we are saying the, the minions is actually marching to the side of Bangladesh here. Bangladesh needs to hold up the situation because Bhutan is coming back on their feet and they want to aim for more. They want to take this fourth game and make it to the fifth game for this first match of the day. And I think right now, Bangladesh, they are losing in terms of the discipline. Well, Bhutan, they're still looking for chances. I, I love how they are trying to get things. I love how, how they are like being objective towards the base, uh, towards the turret, towards the turtle. But they really need to be careful over the team fight that can be brought by Bangladesh. Bhutan here, it's a bit of a reverse situation. They are the ones that have to play chill because as long as per, uh, 
as PIS, the Sicilian, is just alive and well, they can do a lot of damage as we saw in the previous team fight. With the Purify, he's able to escape from the Fatal Links. That was very critical in ensuring that they have even footing in that case in the play. But bang on that right now. Yes, again, going for use on the Tranko. They will actually be able to take him out. But at what cost right now? Bhutan, they are not in position to try and counter. And so Bangladesh get a small victory there, having control, looking for more. Yep, yep, yep. 21, 11, 19 minutes inside of the land of dawn. Remember, at this rate, when somebody gets caught, somebody gets picked up, it's more than 50 seconds to spawn time. Plus the Lord. It's gonna be super duper strong because it's already 19 minutes inside of the land of dawn. So they really need to be careful. The immortality, most of them are already being used in the previous war. Isa still have it, but some of them doesn't. Who will be picked up and who will have the better setup? We will see the Lord almost getting hard here. But what will happen to this Masha jumping in without anything? And the family connects. Who will take this one? And we are saying actually the damage that is given by Triple is pretty huge using the Sicilian. And the hope is gone because Dope is also being picked up. Wow, they took that fight and they didn't have their gold leaders there. So Bhutan, that was a very costly mistake. Bangladesh getting two members down, being able to actually delete most of the front line. So now with that Lord, they can force a fight, they can force an engage, because the flicker is still available for Fuyo Hercules as well. We'll have to see, can Bhutan actually survive long enough and you know run the timers long enough yep. for their members to respawn? And do you see the strike position um, back on the team fight? If he committed, he can get um, perfect taken down because uh, he... Finally joined in the game to aim the Marcia and now still have Sicilian to get defensive on the base, but how they do it. Okay, Ooh. that's a big question right here. How are they gonna do it? Because we're saying that actually right now they're placed three times to bring up on the Lord. It's still having 80,000, 18,000 HP bar here, but the David ordered oh, the chain connect. What will happen next? Because the Lord is focusing on the base while the rest of the player from Bangladesh need to go back as soon as possible because the bad impact is very painful. What will happen? The Sanguine Claws, the Bat Feast will be opened up. They will be focusing, but skill is free on the head of Isas right now. Isas still have the opportunity to try to pick up the member from Bhutan, but Ooh. the Thunder Clap is going directly to Isas. Exactly, and now Bando's trying to get away from the situation, and then he will be able to do so. Great defense from the side of Bhutan, but the final turret here most likely will go down. Immortality no longer available for Isas, and that Cecilion is just a big problem. His Purify is still up, and he is looking out for blood. He, they are one man down, but that's not an issue when you have such good late game picks on the side of Bhutan. Especially above 20 minutes right now. Cecilion is the rock star because like, you can give the damage, the high guard position to make it hard to get aimed by the Bangladesh. But uh, it's the job of Bhutan teams to cover Cecilion very well. Oh! Now, Aaron Ho. It's connect and really having the bloody heart connect real well. But the battle leg getting real done. Not only that, one last sack here. The main target, oh. but Isan is down. In the head of this Cecilion. Axwin will be down because of the bad impact and also the damage coming from Dome. They really need to run away. It's three versus four. And the rest of the player from Bhutan still one for more. And Sreeple still giving so much damage to the side of this Cecilia needs to get back what will happen wizard still dancing around perfect match try to run away but the lord is 40 seconds away arashi 40 seconds away but those both teams don't really care bhutan looking for a chance to try and capitalize on the man advantage no dps no melissa for the side of bangladesh and bhutan finally they let up they want to make sure that they are in the right place at the right time for this lord 20 seconds more than 20 seconds are still on the death timer for two members on the side of Bangladesh. No retribution available to go for the steal. If they can pick off the Cecilion, this will be the critical moment. They go for it. Wizard trying his best, but he's getting chunked away. He almost is taken now. That will be him slain by the Cecilion. The bloody hunt being used as well. That will be the rest of the members following through. But look at the base. The minions are there and strive. He'll try and stop. Oh, oh that won't be enough, fortunately. Then Doge goes back, and that will be the Lord. 
still available for both these teams. As Drive! It's being chased by everyone, but the Torio Park memory shuts him down. Oh my god! And the rest of the player from Bhutan is now back. They want to aim for the Lord. This is their chance because it's only Axwin and also Isas that is still stand still inside of the land of Dan. Or maybe with the waves that is coming to the mid lane of the side of Bhutan, they will have the chance to win this all. But I still feel like it's more wiser for it's wiser for a Bhutan going for the Lord instead of going for a war inside of Bangladesh because this, this Sicilian is already a monster. The damage from Bad Impact, Fast Beast, along with the Sanguine Cloud is the key here from the side of Bhutan. And here you go, the Lord is there. But the wave management! Do you yep. see the bottom and also the top lane? They really need to get back after this one and control it. If not, it's gonna be a huge problem. I wonder if Bangladesh can go for a split push strategy here yeah. because oh. if, if Bhutan isn't careful and they're tunneling too far on winning the fights, on getting the Lord, Bangladesh, if there was one person with the minion wave in the top side, that would have been GG. Mm -hmm. So now Bhutan, they know that's a problem that needs to be focused on, but it's a 5v5 back to its the original start. If the Sicilian gets taken out, that is the win condition for Bangladesh. With the Purify available though, they need to be very smart about it. Uh -huh. And Hercules will be the key to use the battle league very, very well to make the fight game too. But now, the base middle turret gets eight. Even the action is not stopping Bhutan from there. Definitely, yeah, Lord pushing in now, and Bhutan is stalking their play slowly but surely. They don't want to mess up here, it's way too costly. They go for the Iron Hook, but unfortunately, it does not land just yet. Oh. There you go, no bad impact, shocking oh bad numbers to half. By the leg! Fatal Link is being used right here, but Bhutan, they're in the tough spot. The Valentina gets taken out by Dendog on that Masha, and just like that, Bangladesh starts falling apart. The Molotov is doing a lot of DPS, but will that be? Wizard! Oh, the last leg almost gets taken out, that's a monster kill. For the Brody though, and now Bautan still trying to do their best, but with the Sicilian alive, they can do whatever they want. The cards are in their hands. Oh my god, the Lord, uh, the wave of the minion is there, and it's creating so much strength here for Bangladesh. And they are on a struggle moment right here, where we are seeing this Sicilian is just jumping around. But oh, the chain come back, the battle league as well. What will happen? There's no other follow up that's given from the side of Bangladesh, and I think Bhutan will take this one because it's supposed to be one on. Even though that Axwin is no get back, the wave is still there. And look at that one, Axwin not focusing over the minion. And there you go, Bhutan taking the fourth game and will lead us to the fifth game inside of the land of dawn on the final stage of South Asia. One, Axwin has still have the immortal shield, right? So he still can defense or even push away the minion from the bottom lane. The second thing, when 